<clears throat> okay guys, here we are uh, again, just going to be doing a, another quick video. Um, recently installed a new shed. Um, I just have the T9 uh, 700 out uh, cultivating the rest of the field. Uh, course play charges me about $1,500 an hour to have that uh, that guy run run for me, which I think is a bit expensive. But anyways, he's uh, going to be cultivating the rest of this. Um, what I went ahead and, uh, and, and done was implemented uh, a train. Now a train that just drives around just like the cars. Finally figured that thing out. So I went ahead and built a, uh, a new spline. Which isn't that difficult because it's relatively flat. And it only has one little, little bend in it. But it's a continuous. There's no start and stop. It's, I mean there's a start and stop but they're, they connect at the same point. Uh, and... What else? Anyways, so I'll be uh, adding some some stuff to that. So this is the regular train. This is the wood train. Still uh, added a lot, a lot of new stuff, and haven't really uh, exported the uh, texture files over yet. Um, I have this train set. Like 80, 80 something. Anyways, it's gonna be coming out over here. Oh, there it is. You guys see it? Let's try to race it. How cool is that? Racing the train. I think I'm going to add a lot more cars. I only have like 10, maybe. How cool is that? Oh my god, this, this is pretty cool. Is this not pretty cool? No trigger, no nothing. It's just like these cars on a spine. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start adding a lot more cars. I want to get like 50 cars or something. Maybe this is good. I don't know. This thing is... I'm going, I'm going to 51. Anyways, uh, that's the latest little, little deal. Actually, hold on. Am 
going to reset my stuck car. Oh, yeah, um, what, what else have I done? I um, converted my silage trailer. Um, I updated to a row crop. Um, a bucket. Obviously, I messed up on the image, but I exported the bucket. Well, this guy's just plowing my fields. Exported uh, the bucket and added uh, wheat wheat to it um, so I can load up straw, I can load up grass, um, I can load up soybeans, I can load up oat. Just added all the, all the fruits that weren't already in it. Because since I added that commodity shed, um, what it has in there is silage. For oh yeah, I can load up forage. Um, so uh, it has bunkers for silage, mixed uh, total mixed uh, ration, straw, and grass. Um, I sold my round baler and I just kept my forge wagon. I purchased a uh, that haylage trailer which. Um, works fine, totally updated everything, uh, what else, added, uh, some grains so I can unload grain, grains, and so I don't need that Wilson, Wilson grain trailer anymore, uh, and there's another, another cool mod that I found, it's an animated excavator for sand, for our sand pit. So you just kind of, uh, I don't know if it runs all the time or if it just when the trigger, uh, when you're at the trigger, but it's all animated. It's a big animated excavator. Um, I haven't transferred the textures over yet from where I got it from, so it's probably just going to wait. Uh, beef, I have about 100 cat, uh, beef cattle. And I figured out that it generates, uh, you like keep on getting beef. Um, I saw a map had like the cattle fattening mod as well, so I think I might implement that over here at the, the cattle farm. Uh, I'm really pumped about that train. That train is sweet. Uh, but this is just kind of like the grunt work stuff. Once you have everything in, you can start focusing on like terrain and textures. Uh, you know, like this works now, which is cool. What is this? I don't know what that is. Scales working. This is a hundred percent. Fermented apparently. Anyways, here we are at the sand pit. And you can see that the excavator is white because I haven't transferred the, uh, the files over. If I had a trailer that would accept sand, this thing would uh, start going, and uh, I have to make these planes rigid. Well, that thing is uh, once I transfer the textures over. If you look on my Facebook page, I show a video of the animation in Giants. Um, but uh, all all this. Where it's all dirt is going to be tree forest trees. So it's early in the morning, really foggy. I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the fog. But uh, what can you do? So I'll just. Here's my air front end loader. 
Um, posted a link to R and R modding. They, that's their truck. Nice. Uh, there is one little issue in the scripts for error, but uh, nice vehicle, a little underpowered. So compared to the Pete that I was using. Uh, here's our T9700 that's busy cultivating. Um, I did the manual. I did all the way up to about four passes here, so I'm just letting him finish the rest of this for me. Uh, I had 54,000 liters of milk that we sold. Uh, next thing I need to do is purchase a planter. We have soybean and corn that needs to be harvested. I really want to uh, invest in a, in a forage harvester to chop corn for silage. But as of right now, we uh, were fine with just mowing a lot of grass. And then uh, I also have. We can also mow like wheat and barley and windrow that for straw if need be. Um, I think. So I kind of changed the sound on this a bit. Make it a, a little bit more uh, beefy. So this is a really heavy mower. Um, I would put it on my smaller New Holland, the, it's the equivalent of the case. Uh, I wanna. I'm actually not sure. I have the green newer in like multi mow. Mm. Um, mod installed. So I'm just gonna see if I can mow some of the the, the wheat. Uh, converted the whole whole. Manure spreaders, uh, AO textured them and made dirt spec maps. Uh, just because I wanted a more American liquid manure. So now we'll see if we can mow this. Can we mow it? Yes, we can. Thing. No, we can't. It's grass. Uh, that sucks. a big tractor for <clears throat> maybe not 320 horse you could probably get away with uh, something like 180 something half the size try to put the uh, I think what you have to do is you have to load up the front mower first so I tried using that on my other tractor that has a front loader on it and uh, I attached with the rear mower first and it was just too heavy So we're just gonna chill here. I wanna I wanna see if that train comes. Get rid of this fog here.
so the uh, dryer's going, drying all the grain there. I think I'm going to uh, edit this area a bit and add in a. Uh, maybe not. I'll just keep uh, over at Conagra. I think I'll put in like a grain, grain train trigger, or maybe, maybe somewhere else on the map. I want to. I want to have the train cross the bridge somewhere, like a bridge on water. All I'm doing here is waiting for the train to come. I wonder if. Uh, bet you I can like. Once the train hits like a trigger with these lights, that they the lights turn on, and these uh, things shut. I wonder if I can script that through the user attributes. I think I can. So as you guys can see, the train uh, is going pretty fast. I think I had it set at 86, whatever whatever that actually means. Need to add, um, fix the lights on it. Need to add some sound scripts for like cars. some like steam I wonder where this train is I mean it's a big train pretty big spline because it goes all the way down there has to come all the way back and run again so. Maybe I should put in another track. That'd be cool. I have two dual tracks. Wouldn't it be funny if it came from, from that direction? I think now that I had the script for the train working, I could put in like uh, an airport planes and stuff. Let's get crazy now.
Sorry for the boring video, but I really want to see this for myself. Ooh, here it comes. That was cool. Alright, I'm gonna sign off and do some more work. Thanks for watching.